this is how to boost fps and reduce input delay in fortnite chapter 5 season 2 you can use these methods to get more fps fix fps drops reduce input latency and boost fps in the new fortnite chapter 5 season 2 these will work for all low end mid and high end pcs as well as windows 10 and windows 11 helping you optimize fortnite for the best performance possible so let's dive into it but quickly guys if you want zero ping in any game that you play then check out the gear up booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game gear up booster is also used by many pro players in fortnite such as asian jeff day and miro so you don't have to worry about being banned as well also america has the largest fortnite player base making NA servers one of the most crowded servers in the world so gear up booster will be more useful to american players than players from any other region the very first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the fortnite chapter 5 season 2 fps pack the website does contain a few ads so bear with me and skip those and simply go ahead and download the pack and also don't worry this is a hundred percent safe because windows may detect this as a virus due to having batch files and registry files inside of it which are completely safe and normal to use you can even look them up on google but once you have the pack downloaded simply go ahead right click and extract it using 7 zip window or really whatever you want once the pack has been extracted go ahead and open it up and inside of here you will find a bunch of files and folders we're going to be starting off with the disabling uac now this is going to disable the user account control which is crucial for applying some of these tweaks properly in order to apply it simply double click hit yes and then hit ok after this you may need to restart your pc so simply go ahead restart your pc and then follow along with the guide but before applying any further tweaks we are going to be creating a system restore point just in case that you want to revert all of these changes that we're going to be making inside of this video to do that simply double click on the system restore point click on the drive where you have your windows installed and click on create name it anything like i have named it restore click on create and that's it the restore point was successfully created hit close hit ok and now we can move on to applying the tweaks the first one should be the basic optimization reg edit now this one contains a lot of tweaks and settings which you can check by right clicking on it and then clicking on the edit I have also named all of these tweaks so it's easier for you to find out what they actually do and which settings are they related to. So now to apply it, simply close out of it, double click on it and hit yes then hit ok. Moving on, we are going to be going ahead and disabling the hyper boot. This is going to disable hyper boot for your disk drives so double click, hit yes and then hit ok. Then we can move on to the keyboard and mouse optimizations. So open up the regkbm folder and inside of here are a bunch of registry files related to the keyboard and mouse input delay. The first one is disable driver searching with windows so double click on it, hit yes, hit ok and then do the same thing for all of these double click hit yes hit ok then disable startup delay disable hover time and then there is the keyboard queue size now keyboard queue size and the mouse queue size are most important settings inside of here these are basically gonna have the most impact on lowering the latency for both your mouse as well as your keyboard and the values i have set them to are one e which are 30 in decimal value and this is the one that i have always recommended so simply go ahead double click hit yes hit ok then for the menu show delay once again do the same thing do the same thing for the mouse fix and lastly the mouse queue size now that we have applied all of these registries successfully we're gonna be changing some of the additional mouse and keyboard settings and in order to do that go down to your start menu and first search for mouse then go ahead and click on the change the mouse pointer display or speed make sure that you are under the pointer options and this bar is set to the six dots so that would be one two three four five and six and also make sure that the enhanced pointer precision is unchecked then under the pointers option go ahead and set the scheme to none now i'm not gonna be changing mine right now but that is what you should be doing once you are done hit ok and then go back to start menu once again this time search for keyboard and open up the keyboard option and make sure that the repeat delay and the repeat rate are both set to the far right side that is to the short and to the fast and then hit ok another thing that i highly recommend is to disable rgb both on your keyboard as well as your mouse you can do this using your keyboard and the mouse software the reason i want you to disable rgb is because it causes a lot of additional input latency increasing the overall system latency and lowering the performance of your peripherals and in order to do that simply go ahead and open up your mouse or keyboard software and under the lightning tab simply disable the mouse effects and that's it do the same thing for your keyboard hit ok and now you should be golden go back into the pack once more and open up the registry tweaks inside of here are a bunch of registry tweaks that we have applied again and again the reason we are going to be going ahead and applying them once more is because of the new update so simply go ahead and double click on the cpu speed hit yes hit ok if you right click on it and then click on edit you can see all of its contents so basically it's gonna do everything from font smoothing up to the cache improvement and more so go ahead and close out of it 
apply it for the disable game DVR this is going to disable the game bar completely hit yes hit ok do the same thing for the DVR too and then for the disable spectre and meltdown I have made complete videos on spectre and meltdown but basically these are useless security patches that are no longer required as most modern browsers come with these security patches built in therefore we're gonna be going ahead and disabling them and this will save us a bit of CPU and Windows resources that can be used towards gaming for the full screen fix this is going to make sure that the games run in exclusive full screen which is also recommended by the game developers themselves for the memory management optimizations this is going to change some of the memory pooling settings so simply double click hit yes hit ok and then for the wake up all cores this is going to make sure that none of the CPU cores are idle and all of them are at a hundred percent go back into the pack once more and open up the patch tweaks inside of here you will find a folder for drive tweaks and there inside you will find two files the first one is for the hard drives and the second one is for the SSD now if you have your windows installed on a hard drive then use this one if it's on an SSD then use this one simply right click run it as administrator and that's it go back once more and this time we're gonna be applying all of these batch tweaks once again if you want to find out what's inside of each of these batch tweaks you can simply go ahead and right click on them and click on edit and these are actually pretty commonly used BCD tweaks which have been shown to reduce latency by quite a bit so simply right click run it as administrator and then press any key to continue for the clear DNS cache this is going to improve your ping by a little bit and also the overall network optimization so right click run it as administrator press any key to continue delete log files this is going to delete all of the files that the windows has logged over the years or over the course that you have not cleared them so right click run it as administrator and this can take some time depending upon the amount of files that you have so simply let it run in the background then for the delete temporary files this is going to clear out all of the temp folders which have the cached as well as unused windows files that are no longer required by the windows simply right click run it as administrator and this one was made by trimmers so shout out to him and then press any key to continue for the disable HPET this is going to disable the high precision event timer right click run it as administrator for the disable memory compression I have made a complete video on this topic but basically memory compression is bad and disabling it is good the reason for that is because we will have more memory to use for games rather than having it compressed for only certain tasks for disable nigeling this is an algorithm disabling which can improve the network by a bit so that's the reason we're gonna be disabling it simply right click run it as administrator and all of these tweaks can be found on the internet and you can see how safe they are and they are not but if you take my word these are all completely safe and normal to use for the disable process mitigations once again right click run it as administrator and then let it do its work press any key to continue go back into the pack and this time open up the gpu tweaks inside of here if you have an amd gpu open up the amd settings copy the settings from all of these pictures and then at the end go ahead and apply this registry tweak but if you have an intel gpu then go back open up the intel settings and then simply copy the settings from these images however if you are like me and you have an nvidia gpu then open up the nvidia settings first go into the nvidia inspector and drag the rectantex nvidia profile onto the nvidia profile inspector.exe this is going to apply all of the settings that i personally use and have been recommended by many others automatically to your control panel including some of the hidden settings that can only be changed from the profile inspector so once the profile has been imported hit ok go back and then just apply the nvidia gpu tweaks dot reg go back into the pack once more and open up the power tweaks for this one first we are going to be disabling the power throttling however if you experience really high temps then i suggest that you skip this one but for me i'm gonna go ahead and apply it and then i'm gonna use the import power plan dot reg hit yes hit ok basically what's this gonna do is allow us to import any power plan by simply double clicking on it rather than going through the whole cmd process so now you should be able to see this little battery icon alongside the pow file but if you don't simply right click anywhere empty hit refresh and it should be there now in order to import this power plant simply double click on it but i have already imported it so i'm gonna go ahead and open up the power plants inside of here under the show additional plans you should now have the request power plan simply click on it and voila you are done now you have arguably one of the best power plan out there which is going to completely optimize your windows for the best performance and give you the highest fps in your game possible now you can close out of this go back into the pack once more and finally open up the cpu folder inside of here you will find the info.txt which shows you that you need to set all of the usb controllers as well as the usb hubs onto the core 01 or but i'm gonna be guiding you through all this myself simply close out of it right click on the interrupt affinity policy tool run it as administrator now once this opens up simply click anywhere and then type in u and keep hitting u until you find the usb root hub or the usb controller once you have found those simply hit set mask and then set it to something like cpu 3 if you have four cores like me but if you have more cores then go ahead and set it to something like cpu 6 8 10 really whatever other than cpu 0 once that is done hit ok it will ask if you want to restart the device hit no and then hit ok and now the changes will take effect when you restart your pc one more thing to do is to find your graphics card which for me is right here hit ok if any error pops up a lot of errors may pop up inside of this program but they are completely normal but once you have clicked on your graphics card simply set mask and then set it to something like cpu 2 the reason for this is to actually just offload the graphics card onto another cpu this is going to actually help you a lot with the 
micro stutters. Once done, hit OK, hit OK once more, do not restart the device, hit OK, OK, and done. Go back into the pack one final time and then right click on the device cleanup and run it as administrator. And once this opens up, click on devices, click on select all and then click on devices once more and click on remove selected. This is going to remove all of the devices that were once connected to your PC but are no longer in use. Once done, you can close out of this and the final optimization is actually the command lines.png. Simply open it up and then just type these commands inside of the Epic Games Launcher itself. Now I know that all of you guys already know how to use these commands so I'm not gonna bother you guys with that but LAN play is going to help you improve ping. No splash will remove the splash screen and use all available cores will make sure that the Fortnite is using all of the available cores for your CPU which is going to tremendously help you with the FPS. But now that you're done here go ahead and check out this video if you want to optimize your low-end PC for even more FPS. Thank you.